Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing? Good morning, Dr. Do. We're well, thank you. How are you? Dr. Do. Great, great. A great day. Uh, all the hard work paid off. Uh, we can go ahead, Sheila. Let's take it from here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody, again, and welcome to the Arrhythmus uh, Internship 2024. This is the first of the year. Um, just um, a little disclaimer we take a great pride in this. Arrhythmics is the only program that I have seen. If anybody has seen it too, you could let us know that um, every once in a while, a couple of, the, couple of times in a year, we actually bring out these um, graduates. And then we also actually bring out those that have actually been successful in finding a job. We also celebrate our own. And this is a great place to be. So we take great pride in it. And we are so proud of you. So congratulations to our interns. Um, and congratulations to Dr. Emmanuel Ledu. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, we will thank our sponsors to begin with. Um, this was made possible by Arrhythmus Inc., Arrhythmus Academy, um, CompTIA, ADDI, and Diaspora Care. These are our sponsors. We thank you. All right, to begin with, the man of the hour, the internship instructor and conductor, Dr. Emmanuel Ledoux, a former United States um, Army captain. He's a cybersecurity expert and a consultant. He's a former professor at University of Maryland Global Campus and Central Texas um, College. He's the founder of Arrhythmus Inc. and Arrhythmus Academy. He has over 21 years um, in IT industry. So he is the real deal. All right, we'll give you an overview of the internship program. The timeline of the internship program is October, 2023. That is when it started and it just completed. All right, and this is the rundown of the program itself. So first, we, we, we use cybersecurity frameworks like uh, CIS controls uh, version two, NIST, C, CSF, and CIS RAM, and many more to help um, secure the IT infrastructure for Diaspora Care, uh, um, Diaspora Care Inc., African Diaspora Development Institute, ADDI. So these are real organizations that we use for our interns to have internship in. Uh, they conducted risk assessment of the organization uh, security posture. They also conducted third party risk assessment for the organization. And then they set up an inc um, incident response program for these organizations that we have mentioned above. Um, so a little more into detail, the internship curriculum runs as follows. So the project one, they started with understanding the fundamental security concepts. So the CIA, risk, vulnerability, threat, and then people, technology processes, as you know, is the main problems. So they worked on that meeting. They worked on that to um, meet with clients, IT um, personnel also. So in project two, they work on understanding. So you work on understanding your client security situation. They use OAP top 10, MITRE frame, the MITRE attack framework, and then the CIS framework. Um, they also worked on understanding the legal and regulatory requirement. In project three, they worked on understanding the governance in every organization, which is the security IT uh, corporate NIST 853 standards, policies, SOPs, and guidelines. In project four, they worked on uh, security management plan framework um, se um, selections. In project five, they worked on identifying and classifying organizations' IT assets, uh, establishing a security baseline for the organization. And then in Project Six, they worked on risk management, which is designing and implementing a risk management strategy. Project Seven, 
they worked on the incident response um, plan. Uh, project eight, they worked on conducting cybersecurity audit. Project nine, they worked on third party risk management. And then project 10, they worked on security awareness training. All right, uh, we are going to be taking the message from our main sponsor, Arithmetic Academy. Uh, first, um, let me correct myself. I did not introduce myself, presuming that most of you might know me. For those that don't know me, my name is Sheila Oduro. I am the Cybersecurity Regional Analyst for the Commonwealth. I am also a lifelong student of Arithmetic, a former uh, student um, or graduate of um, the internship. So I went through the same program that you guys are graduating now. So anything is possible. All right. All right. So the message from the our sponsor, Arithmetic Academy. So just so you know, Arithmetic Academy is a cybersecurity training institute. It's based in New York. The Arithmetic Academy, this is a cybersecurity that we have um we have trained over 1000 students all around the globe to become cybersecurity professionals as i said that myself included um, our catalog of um, of courses are as follows we have cybersecurity um, for beginners this is a free course that will give you a better insight into cybersecurity career and cybersecurity industry we also offer PCI DSS for beginners. This is also a free course that will give you a better insight into PCI uh, industry. If you are thinking about it, you take this to get a better understanding before you make the decision. And then we offer cybersecurity um, entry level course. So after you take the beginner course to understand, then when you make the decision, you can jump into the entry level course. This is the best training for absolute beginners who want to start uh, working as a cybersecurity professional. This usually um, lasts six, at least six months or less. Uh, I have seen people that have done it in less than a month, believe me. Uh, cybersecurity, um, we also offer certification courses. So if you are trying to get in a certificate in CISSP, CompTIA Security Plus, uh, CIA, uh, CISA, uh, CYSA plus and many more. If you get onto our website, you will see all the courses. And then we also um, offer payment card industry um, data security standard training. This is the PCI specialist and expert. And then we also offer the cyber hands-on. This is an, a training that if you have taken um, a cybersecurity program somewhere or you have taken it with us, we give you a hands-on training, and then we also do a job placement assistance. So if you think that you are ready for a, uh, to find a job, we can also help you find a job. Um, all right, and then we will move on. How do you get started? If you are interested, you will find us at www.arithmixacademy.com. You can also find us at YouTube, Arithmix Academy. You can also find us at Facebook, Arithmix Academy. You'll find us all over the place and we are ready to help. All right, we will call on our guest speaker, Mr. Frank Osei. He's a program manager, PCI DSS compliance mm -hmm. as global, at Global Partnership, Partners LP. Go ahead, please. Hi everyone. Um, sorry. Um, I think Sheila did the introduction already. Uh, well, I can go over it again. Um, my name is Frank Jose, and I'm I'm the program manager for um, PCI DSS compliance with Global Partners. Um, it's an oil and gas um company, and um, sorry. So um, I went through the. Uh, rhythmic training back in 2020. I mean, I started in 2020 as an um, entry level student and moved on to the internship. Then from then, um, I went on to continue with the uh, PCI training. And trust me, it's been very, very helpful in every way that I can possibly say. 
And um, even on the job, I still refer back to some of the notes that uh, Dr. Edu provided to even, you know, to do my job as at now. So um, I will encourage each and every one of you, like, to be steadfast and continue, you know, <laughs> sorry. My voice. Hello? Yeah, sorry. Um, my, my, my voice is kind of rough. I'm not feeling too well. So um, I encourage each and every one of you. There's a lot of opportunities out there for you. And don't be afraid to test the waters. And, you know, whatever that comes your way, go for it. Don't be afraid. And the training that Dr. Edu provided kind of gave me the confidence and the, um, the knowledge to be able to do my job even as of now. And uh, I would say I'm proud of you for going this, um, coming this far. And also, I wish you the best in your future endeavors and whatever you try to do, you know, go for it. And I wish you the best. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, friend. Thank you. All right. So when you graduate with us, um, when you're done with the internship, as you guys are, this is um, what you will receive. This is a certificate that we will uh, provide to each and every one. All right. So October 20, uh, 20, 2023 cohorts. Um, this is a diaspora care team. And we will invite the diaspora care team leader to introduce your team members. Isosa, if you are on the line, you can check sure. over, please. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning, everybody. I have a bit of a cold, so my voice sounds a little off today. But um, I really was honored to lead Das for Care, this cohort. Uh, it was challenging. It was rewarding. And I'm really grateful. You know, I'm grateful to be part of the Eretmus family. And um, the connections that I've made are definitely long lasting. So I would like to, you know, introduce our assistant group leader, um, Divine from Boston. He was really great to work with very personable, sharp mind. And, um, you know, he had a different perspective of things which made for great conversations and really heated debates sometimes. So Divine, <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. Um, I'd like to introduce myself with where I come from because there's several Divines, but what makes me special is that I'm from Boston. So it's been a great honor. Um, I would I would like to share just one uh, short experience of how I got to know um, Eritmis. I had been uh, searching around. I had been in the IT space before, but I, um, I asked myself, of all the IT disciplines, where do I want to build a career? Which is the most sustainable? And the answer was evident that it is cybersecurity because all other systems depend on security. And I hold that thought, I hold that view without any apology. So after a lot of conducting a lot of research, I finally fell on Arrhythmus and I knew that this is the place. Arrhythmus for me, uh, without exaggeration, is like the Harvard of all uh, GLC trainings that you will have there. The one thing that makes it stand out is um, the ability of the academy to transform the classroom into workplace. So it has been a very um, challenging, yet very rewarding experience and that I would always preach wherever I have the uh, opportunity to. So I'm happy to have been a part of this cohort. And I can't say enough about the Red Mills. I can't say enough about my training. We'll see how several long-term engagements. So thank you again to my team. It has been a very great honor working with some of the best people, the sharpest minds that you will ever find. And I really, really wish that um, I could work with all of Diaspora Care for the whole of my career. So thank you again to everybody. Thank you yeah, immensely to the facilitator, Dr. Edu, for everything that you do. You are um, a selfless leader. Um, I'll, I'll end there. 
So thank you again, team. Thank you for everything. It has been a great honor. And I owe deep endearment to Eritmis. Okay, I think um, I was hoping um, you will sure. go on and introduce the rest of your team members. Yes, of course. I realized I was still on mute. <laughs> um, if you could um, hit the button again, please. Okay, so Abayami was the leader for Team A. Abayami, are you on the call? Let me throw this to you. I am. There you go. I am. So um, just a little um, thing here. So Ms. Sosa, we want you to run through the team members by mentioning their names. And then when we are done with introducing your team members, we will give them the opportunity to to talk so whoever is interested in speaking they can also so for now we want you to just introduce them okay thank you um Sheila for that so <laughs> no this is problem. a bio me he was the leader for team a and um he did yeah. such a great job with the team brought so much technical you know experience and just a really wonderful um person to work with and really honored to make this connection with a bio me and hopefully we'll have you know many more projects and many more things to work with his insights and just the way he looks at things from that perspective that he does always I think he's one of those people that just kind of spark a light and also very resourceful and different projects that we work on a biome would always find a resource for us like yes I have something <laughs> that's efficient effective efficient and effective so that's our team leader for for a so our assistant team leader is um, Frank, and uh, Frank was uh, always keeping us right with the purpose. You know how you have one person in the group, <laughs> and if you veer up a little bit, a little, they always bring you right back to the center, like, but what is your assignment asking, though? Or, no, no, you th you guys are overthinking this, or you're doing this. So it was always good to have that voice in the group, somebody who was very I'm making sure that we stayed on the technical side of things. So I definitely uh, like that and appreciate that about Frank. So we have our next, I'm gonna introduce the other members of team A. We have Akin Remy and um, Akin Remy comes from such a professional background and he really helps to round out our group in just thinking of things differently or focusing on what matters the most. And I really appreciate it about a very resourceful, quiet. He is quiet, but when he talks, you know, you know that he is definitely in the room and has that presence and have so much respect for him. He has definitely helped the group when we were in a pinch. Several times I've had to call him and say, hey, Akira, could you please help with this? And he would definitely show up. <laughs> and for that, I am very grateful. So we have Kwabena, um, who was also a member of our team. I didn't really get to connect much with him as much, so I don't have as much to say, but definitely he was a member of um, team A. And then we're gonna go on to the next person. And Richard as well, um, was also a part of team A. Didn't get to connect as much, but um, he definitely was one of the people that rounded out our team A membership. And then team B, we have Natalie. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we love Natalie <laughs> so much. Oh, my goodness. Natalie, Natalie, I'm so grateful for her. We have thanked her. She has, she's such, she's one of those people you want on your team. She's sharp. Yeah. She really uh, great leadership, self leadership, um, um, self leadership, leading the team. Just did a great job. I could call Natalie or message her because there was, you know, some of these projects, they are just meaty. There's so much to do, so many legs. And Natalie definitely showed up in her leadership, herself and a bio me when it comes to just getting that work done, you know, and saying, oh, for the teams, this is this, this is that. Natalie showed up for us and helped us very resourceful as well and appreciated her leadership of Team B so much so thank you natalie and we have our assistant leader team b rexford 
Rex definitely is one of those people, very technical as well, very grateful for him. And um, in the team, one thing I love is our group, the different perspectives, the different backgrounds. So we had some, you know, different perspectives where we're disagreeing about something. And one thing he would do is kind of bring his own perspective and sometimes a fresh way of looking at something or a different way. He asked a lot of questions and, you know, questions hook the mind. So when you ask those questions, it gets us thinking. And there are times we got into some of these conversations where at the end of it, we didn't know who was right and who was wrong. <laughs> right? Like it could really go either way. So definitely appreciate him, appreciate his leadership and supporting and helping get things done in a timely manner and being available, being available for whenever he was needed. So thank you so much, Rex. So we're going to go on to the next member, Team B. Abena is also one of those people that you mm -hmm. want on your team. Abena pays attention to those details. She misses absolutely nothing she's so, so, such a sharp eye so if we miss anything we don't see something i can count on abena i have definitely called her as you know a group leader and said hey, abena i'm in a tight spot could you help me with this could you do this please and she will do her best to make sure it gets done she would help out wherever it's needed but one thing i really admire about her is her professionalism her mind her work ethic just a great, great work ethic. And she would do whatever it takes to make sure that we excel as a team. She's a little on the quiet side, but when she speaks, you know she did. <laughs> you definitely know she did because she is so sharp, very, very bright. So our next team member is Say. So I didn't have as much uh, connection or you know, with Say as much in the group Um so I don't really have as much to say, but he definitely, you know, helped us a little bit during the very beginning. So that's kind of all I have to say for now. And then Adam as well was also another one of our members in Team B that I didn't have as much um, connection or work with, but um, he definitely was one of our members. And that's it for Daspro here. Thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll move on to um, Group ADDI. Um, group ADBI's leader is Nanaya Buapache. Uh, could you please um, introduce your team members, please? Hey, Sheila, can you hear me okay? Yes. Hey, Sheila, this is Ralph Holly. I'm serving as the mat as the moderator for our group, and uh, we'll take you through who our team was. Thank you so much for the opportunity. We're so excited uh, for what has transpired. So grateful for Dr. Adu and the Arithmetic team. Uh, our group leader, we just had a phenomenal group of people, and I'm honored to for them to allow me to kind of guide us through uh, our family that we develop. Uh, we have as our uh, group leader, Nanaya Yah, just the ultimate leader, uh, guided us through whatever we needed to do. Um, whenever we had opportunities to need leadership, he would always reach out to Dr. Adu or whoever else we needed. So we're appreciative for his opportunity. And he'll be, he also was a team leader and he'll be speaking a little later on. Go ahead, please. Our assistant group leader who can't be here today is Abigail Affa. What an amazing woman uh, that came to very brilliant, strong opinion that, that led us through what we needed to, to do to get us on the straight street. Whenever we would have our team meetings, Abigail was always the voice of reason and she would always kind of uh, put her foot down and tell us the way we needed to go. And we all needed that because we were coming together uh, kind of late, but we got together and strong leaders like this helped to get us to where we need to be. Go ahead. I'd like to introduce Team A now. I was the Team A, a, team a leader. My name is Ralph Holly. Uh, it was just a tremendous experience for me uh, to work with so many brilliant people the experience for me was really good. Uh, I even on my job now find a lot of the things that Dr. Adu has trained us on is actually implemented. And it just gives me a real warm feeling when I'm in a meeting and I say, wow, I went over this in class. And it's really an amazing thing to, to participate. So I'm grateful to have been a part of this. 
And as I say here that I'm really, really excited. And I know that this will be a major component for my personal cybersecurity career. Our assistant team leader was Cornelius Doe, Mr. Go-To. Uh, Cornelius uh, is in military. And even when he was working, he would send in reports. He would write up presentations. I called him at all times of night, all times of day, and he was always there. Uh, I'm in Michigan, and he goes to Ohio State. So we have a rivalry going on that we always keep in front that keeps us going. So he was always a pleasure and always there. Next. Quabina was just a joy to be with. So uh, we, we kind of stole him from the other team <laughs> and we're glad to have him uh, with us. He was uh, always voicing his, his knowledge, just a deep knowledge of cybersecurity and what he does and he understood is very technical and this gave us so much information on how to do our project. So we're really grateful to have him a part of the team. Barbara, uh, Barbara also is in the military and she uh, was so gracious and kind to share with her when her time uh, allowed her to be a part of our program, to be a part of our team. She was always involved and we're grateful for her also in the service that she renders. Uh, Nanaya, again, we talked about him. He is not only one of our, our group leader, but he was kind enough also to be our team member. He will definitely be speaking um, as we were going through you know, doing the introductions and, and Sheila was doing her introductions. Uh, I was talking to Nanaya and I said, well, you know, you will definitely have something to say because you were a great leader because he was the group leader of both team A and team B. And we're grateful uh, to have him here. And again, Sheila. Again, Abigail Affle, we said, what can we say about her? Uh, just a great representative of what leadership and cybersecurity is all about and bringing people together was her strong point. Okay, now we're going to team B. Um, I'm gonna have to hand it over to Aaron Daniels to introduce his team. Aaron, go ahead, please. Thank you, Ralph. Um, First off, I want to say thank you to Rhythmus Academy for providing this platform for us to, um, you know, learn and, and showcase the, the skills that we have. And we were, we were able to leave uh, with with a lot more knowledge than we came in. So here, right here, we have Zayla Jackson. Zayla Jackson was um, our Team B leader. She was uh, really great at um, organizing the group, getting us together to... Uh, present and you know she was just you know very instrumental in our long term success. Success. Me and Zilla worked on on projects late at night and you know she, you know she would just uh, have that drive and ambition to to get the job done. So unfortunately she she couldn't finish with us, but you know she is um, you know always in our minds and presence in our heart because of the leadership and and um, great great leadership skills that she had. Next. This is myself, um, Aaron. I am just, uh, I'm just Zilla's team assistant and uh, just here happy to be part of the group. I had an amazing group of, of uh, classmates that I work with in team B and um, uh, that's all I have to say about myself. Ransford, let me tell you about Ransford, man. Ransford is, you know, one hell of a classmate to, 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 to be partnered with. You know, Ransford work ethic was unmatched. And uh, let me tell you, Ransford is in logistics and he works primarily at night. And, you know, during our calls and our meetings, you would hear the GPS going off, turn left, turn right. But Ransford was still very much active in our group. So, you know, that's just a no excuse type of classmate to have where he was able to contribute to our presentations and our work even while he was driving and I could hear the GPS, you know, you know, signal him to, to turn left or right. So, you know, um, you know, shout out to Ranford. Next, please. Abigail, uh, I'm sorry, Grace. Grace is a great uh, team member to have. She uh, chimed in whenever she could, you know, she had a lot of um, um, positive things to say and, and was a great member to work with. Jermaine, oh, Jermaine, let me tell you about Jermaine. That's another guy with strong worth ethic. You know, he was, uh, he primarily works at night. And, you know, I think it's in a, in a laboratory of some sorts. And during our calls and our presentations, you would hear, you know, instruments going off and uh, just a work 
work life environment. I could hear in the background, but he was also no excuses, would show up and contribute to all of our presentations, chime in when he could. Sometimes he would go to a quiet area in his in his break room, unmute his mic and and give us direction on on his constructive criticism on our presentations. So grateful to Jermaine. Uh, David Cessano, you know, David Cessano was a great member to work with as well. Didn't have much of a, um, interactions with him, but you know, whenever he could provide us some information, he would come in and provide some great help. Thank you, Aaron. In our team, we had, uh, this is Ralph again. We were, um, kind of when we had to join, we started late. And then we finally got together and we meshed. Uh, Dr. Dew was kind enough to give us some direction on how teams come together. And once we got that direction, we jumped together and started working together with Zayla, Aaron, Team A, Team B, and we hit the ground running. And he asked us to put together some things of notable interns at, at, as how we work together. And this was these were some things that were voted on by the team. Uh, our most helpful interns were... Uh, voted as Ransford, myself, and Aaron, the most active interns, Aaron, Ransford, and uh, and myself. Most technical knowledge uh, interns was Quabina, Ransford, and Jermaine. And our most valuable interns were voted as myself and Zayla. And most uh, resourceful interns uh, were voted as Ransford, Quabina, and Abigail. So we're excited about ADDI and what we had the opportunity to be exposed to work together with our team, an amazing team, had a bunch of fun, but a lot of hard work, a lot of late hours, and we're just grateful for the opportunity that was presented by Arithmetic Inc. Sheila, back to you. Thank you so much, Ralph. Thank you so much. All right, so now we will take a message from our cohorts. So we have introduced all the team members and so we will take messages from them. Sheila, is it open for us to speak now? Yes, please. And okay. we encourage, um, I'm sorry, We I should have said this from the beginning too. We were, I think I got too excited. <laughs> we were we encouraging that if you can turn your camera on, that, that is usually makes it more fun. So please um, go ahead and speak. Nana, is your time. <laughs> Thank you, um, Dr. Du. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. And I also thank you for the entire uh, team. And uh, also UDDI and also the uh, diaspora team for coming together for uh, us to have this uh, mission accomplished. It's a good experience, and we hope that we'll learn a lot and uh, we'll be able to uh, go out there, out there and apply the knowledge and the skills that we've got. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, please, whoever is ready to talk, go ahead. Sheila, I'd like to jump in again. This is Ralph again. I cannot tell you the opportunity, uh, the, the joy of working with everybody, even on the other team of listening to a Sosa's team. It was amazing to be around so many people in the same class. But the thing that really was most amazing to me was to be close to just such a brilliant man and, and Dr. Adu. Uh, I, I work in corporate and, I, and I'm around guys and, and he is just, the, as we call the point of the spear. And so we're real excited about that. So really glad about the opportunity I've had to be involved. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. I, I would like to uh, uh, add to that. You know, I'm really grateful for this opportunity uh, to have work life experience um, coming from a different industry um, is, is invaluable to me. I really enjoyed this process. I I enjoyed working with my uh, my my colleagues um, uh, with Diaspora Care. You know, there was a great team. It was a great um experience to to see them come together and make these wonderful presentations and then just for our group you know i, I just really really uh love my my classmates and my members ralph was really really um good to work with me and ralph spent you know many many hours late at night and into the morning working together and even with uh things i may not have known 
because Rob is in corporate and in IT, he was um, so selfless in teaching me some of the things that was brand new to me. So uh, my gratitude and um, to, to Ralph on, on being able to, to teach me and willing to teach me, you know, even when he had to wake up four o'clock in the morning to go to work. So I appreciate Ralph and all my team members, and I look forward to embarking on a new career in cybersecurity. Ransford. Go ahead, please. <laughs> hey, Ralph. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I want to thank God before thanking uh, Dr. Edu and the entire Eric Bates team for this opportunity which we had to come together to meet and network with very great minded people. In fact, I'm still I'm still trying to to find the words to express my gratitude for this very, very rare opportunity, which I, I ran with. That's why I never took any chance in any time we had a meeting, I had to let every other thing go to make sure I was participating. And Ralph, Aaron, every in fact, the the entire the entire program was just one life changing transformation for me because I was able to appreciate the gifts and talents that each and everybody was bringing into the table. And most importantly, the wealth of knowledge that Dr. Edu has is something that you can't really quantify. And he's, he's so talented in the way he presents stuff that you can't help but assimilate and build some confidence in yourself. So it's, 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 one, it's, it's one, one internship too much for me. I like to, I like to always uh, call Dr. Edu when I'm trying to refer to him to people as the general of the uh, Eritrean Cyber Defense Army because he is really, really somebody that you need to talk to to appreciate his, his mode of lectures. I've actually tried to get some resources up in the internet and a lot, but guess what? This stuff in Eritrean is real. Like it's something you can you can you can't really quantify the the knowledge base. So I'm really grateful for the team members, everybody work together, even Diaspora Care, shout out to Esosa for always having our back if we needed her at some point, even if we were in separate groups, but there was this collaboration and it was just, the energy was really nice. I, I can't help but keep in touch with you guys and I wish all of us the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Rensford. I agree with you. Anybody that knows me, know the name that I've given to this man. He's, he's amazing. So I'm glad that we're taking advantage and, and bettering ourselves. Uh, Divine, I think um, you had your hand up first, so please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Um, just on behalf of my group, first of all, uh, um, it looks like our uh, award categories were omitted. So if I may, I would just uh, like to announce the, the results of our votes. So for the most helpful intern, we had a Sosa. For the most active intern, we had someone called Divine. Uh, the most technical intern, most yeah, most technical savvy intern we have are Bio Me and Frank. The most valuable valuable intern we have is Sosa, and most resourceful intern we have Natalie. Um, so congratulations to you all for the job well done. Now on a personal note, um. I would like to share one of the things that drove me or, or that keeps driving me. The, the journey to the peak of cybersecurity, it's a very long one. Sometimes it is very easy to get very anxious or very agitated in, uh, in the desire to, um, to become professional or to become to build a career or to get to to get a six figure salary that we run the risk of allowing ourselves the time to learn this has been a personal experience and that I want to invite everybody to consider this um a journey of the the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and we won't all be all of us will be great cyber security professionals that is sure but i want to encourage everyone to allow yourself the time to learn i joined the readmis last year and i was just sharing with a colleague 
a few days ago that I can't believe that it's almost a year that I've been in arrhythmias. I thought it would just be a, a three sec, a three three month thing or two month thing, because that is what other that is what other um supposed cyber security academies or training programs um teach you out there, and and that, and this goes for all of IT. They will tell you this: come in in one month, you get through. Yeah, uh, three months you're gonna get a six figure salary. If you want to be a maxman at your job, allow yourself the time to learn. Take the training from bottom up. Begin with your security plus and walk your way up for whichever discipline you want to embrace in cybersecurity. And I would uh say this again without apology of all the domains in IT. Cybersecurity is the most sustainable because all other systems depend on security. And if you are in the cybersecurity space, like we all are now, we are not in the wrong place. And I'm very proud, I'm very happy, uh, I'm very appreciative again to the Arrhythmus Academy, which is the Harvard of all uh, cybersecurity trainings, especially in the GRC space. And I'm also uh, deeply uh, endeared and thankful uh, personally to Dr. Edu because I'm, um, Arrhythmus doesn't lie. They do what they say they will do. I paid zero dollars for this uh, cybersecurity internship. I just showed up on a Zoom call someday. I was on Friday evening and I just made myself useful. Ask a couple of, a bunch of questions and Edu said, you know, people are going to be selected randomly. I, I had no prior engagement with Arrhythmus. And behold, I was uh, shortlisted for the internship. Here I am today, a much, much better person. And um, I also encourage everybody, the internship is just, Security Plus and internship is just the first phase. There's so much, so many beautiful things that we can do in cybersecurity. After this level, I, I invite everyone to explore uh, PCI DSS. I'm, I'm personally in the PCI DSS uh, space also, and I'm sick, I'm going to be in the, in the, with the Arrhythmus for a long time. So I, encourage, I invite everyone to explore other Arrhythm, Arrhythm, um, advanced Arrhythmus programs because you should always want more. It's PCI DSS, CISSP, and what have you, and many others that are in the pipeline. So let's um let's get to the max to the apex of our careers in the cybersecurity space. Thank you again to everybody. Thank you, especially to Dr. Du. Thank you to the Arrhythmus Academy and um keep keep going. Thank you, Brian. So you are the one of the lucky ones, huh? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, this is a family and you're stuck here, so you cannot touch town um, for like a year and go. You are here. And you're part of the family now, so thank you. Um, it's also, I think your hand was up. And... Well, I wanna say thank you to Dr. Adu for the opportunity to lead a team. And I'm really grateful for that. Initially, when I started, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but <laughs> I, had no, I had no clue. I was like the picture of absolute cluelessness. And uh, Dr. Adu didn't answer all of my questions, Dr. Adu. <laughs> he, he allowed us to just figure things out. And that was like the best thing he did because there were some things that he really didn't need to say. If you did your research, you would find the answers. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you for not answering some of my questions. <laughs> I also want to share this because I do want to emphasize that this works. So we're graduating today and I started to shoot off or you know, send out some um you know, fill out some job applications. And I did hear back from one company. I didn't send out a lot, but I heard back from one company they're interested. And I'm just like laughing and giggling to myself. Like they really saw my resume and thought I could do something, <laughs> you know? But I want to use that to encourage everyone to, like Divine was saying, to actually use this as a, is a great stepping stone. I don't even want to say stepping stone because the wealth of information, all the different skills, all the different ways that you're tapped into and that you have to actually show up as you you grow. I've grown really a lot. I've grown so much. And when I even put my resume together, I looked at it and looked at what the company, you know, the opportunity, I was like, wow, somebody reached out to me. Like I knew nothing, <laughs> you know, I'm just so thankful 
and very uh, grateful because now I, I hear myself talk about things and I actually absorbed it. And so what I thought the program was going to be, it's actually turned out to be a lot better. I thought, okay, I'm going to do this for a company, but the the wealth, the, the information, and then the hands-on, it's very practical, which is what I wanted. So it definitely was um, money well spent. And I encourage everyone, like uh, Divine was saying, really look into Eretmis, look into the different programs. There's a lot to offer. And the people in your group, like even though I'm not a, on an ADDI, I've made connections there as well. And, you know, just connecting to the bigger family outside of um, our own groups. So I just want to say thank you so much for this program. Thanks, Dr. Andrew, for making yourself available to talk to, to speak with, to shoot, you know, ideas with, and just to, you know, tell exactly how it is. It's, it's really great to hear a professional assess a situation because they come with that, those eyes and that ear. And before you finish a sentence, he already knows exactly what route or rabbit hole you're about to get yourself into. And so I'm really thankful for your mentorship and thank you very much for your guidance and for this platform, for all the people that I've got to connect with. I'm really very appreciative. Like Sheila said, you can't get rid of us. Well, thank you because I was not going to go before. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Um, anybody else want to speak before we move on? Hi, Sheila. This is great. Oh, hey, Sus. How are you? Good. <laughs> sorry, that's um, my sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank Dr. Edu. I know um, I've been calling him here and there. And I would also like to thank my group. They did so amazing. And especially Aaron. I always call him even at late night. He will pick up my calls and help me out whenever I needed any um, question answered. I just want to say thank you. And I really appreciate you all. Great. Thank you, Grace. Um, anybody else want to speak? Good morning. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Hi. I just want to um, say thank you all for the invite and congratulations to the class of 2024. And I am very excited about my brand new opportunities. I'm going to be starting um, my free classes on next week. And then I'm going to go ahead and start taking my cybersecurity so that I can be in the same seat that you guys are in currently. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You can do this. So keep working hard. Thank you. And, yes, you're welcome. Anybody else? Hello. Yes. Hi. Um, I just want to say that um, what I'm just witnessing right now is uh, a big encouragement to me. And just like the previous um, speaker said, I just started learning um, from the beginning of the year. So it's been like two months into my studies. Um, I can say so far, I have learned a lot. And um, I know I'm, I'm going to be successful from what I'm just seeing right now. Um, trying to get to that point where I can also get into the internship and um, I just want to say to you guys, congratulations, and um, I wish you all the best. And I feel like you are an encouragement to those of us who are just beginning. So thank you, and I appreciate the platform. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. All right. Uh, this hand is up, but I cannot see who that is. Is that? Okay, I think that was you, Michael. Your hand is still up. If you can put it down. Um, whoever is um interested in speaking, we still will give you the chance to speak. Yes. Um, hi, this is Natalie. Go ahead, please. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to start by thanking Dr. Adu for giving us such a unique and valuable 
learning experience. And I would also like to thank my amazing, hardworking and unselfish teammates, especially Esosa and Divan for the exceptional leadership. So I took a PCI DSS uh, class with Dr. Adu um, last year, I think. And it was intense to say the least. So um, I knew coming in this workshop that it would be it would not be easy, but I was ready because I already knew that the you know I had to bring my A game. So um, an example of that was like when we did the incident response tabletop um, exercise. It was very demanding. It was, I mean, we had to stay overnight to um, finish that and we have to do I mean work days on it so it was very hard and but like as a group we were able to figure it out and we um we presented our work and it was good I think that we achieved what we were looking for so Talking about the tabletop exercise also, um, we learn, I mean, many concepts, but this one for me was kind of um, interesting because I, I have heard about, you know, um, incident response plan, but I never really um, dwelt into it, like to know what's going on in it. But with that exercise, I can, like, my eyes close. I can tell anybody about um, everything that's going to it and what um, should be done and all and the above. So thank you again, Dr. Adu, for everything that you do. And thank you to my teammate. And that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. Anybody else? Yeah, hi. This is hi. Susan. Yeah, I would like to say this is very amazing to see because for me, especially this week, my work schedule is interfering with my classes and my group meetings. But seeing this, this is really amazing and encouraging. So I will, I'm encouraged to fight on. That's all I want to say. And congrats to all the graduates. Good. Good. I'm glad. Um, yes. Thank you, Susanna. Um, who else want to speak? I'll go ahead. Okay. Uh, this should be short. Hopefully, I don't take much time. Um, but I really wanted to um, commend uh, Dr. Adu for putting this together. This has been really inspiring. I remember the first time we actually had a conversation, and just just as I just as I said, I had a lot of questions. In fact, I was actually at work. I remember I was working, and I needed to develop a. Um, uh, my company was trying to offer cybersecurity products. And I remember having a conversation with Dr. Adu on how to actually come up with, you know, with the services that we're going to offer. Although it's shut down now, we couldn't go ahead with it, but his insights and that was really brilliant. And that was sort of like the template I used on my own. So really thank you for that. But I also wanted to commend um, Natalie and Abina because they came through for us when it comes when it came to the incident response. They single handedly ninety ninety percent did everything for us. They they carried that team on that project. I I I was so impressed because when we first got into, you know, we started out in a class. You could tell they did not have the, the confidence to execute, you know, um, pro um, a project of that sort. And you know, as the week went on, you could you could see the growth, you know. So I really commend you both. You guys have really grown. Uh, I'm encouraged by your work, and I hope we we don't stay strangers. Uh, and lastly, Asusa, Amor, 
your your boss man, man. I love I love the work we've done together. God bless you. Thank you again, Dr. Andre. Hi, I would also like to say something. Yeah. Hi, greetings from California. I'm just here to celebrate with you all. My sister is Abna, so I'm here today to congratulate her and thank Dr. Edu for running this wonderful program and giving my sister the opportunity to benefit from it and also to congratulate you all. I know it hasn't been easy, but you've all done it. And I just want to say that good luck and best wishes for your next steps. I know my sister has been through a lot and for her to have gone through this program, I know anybody else will also be able to do it. So greetings from California. Congratulations to you all. Have a bottle of wine with some fufu or eba or whatever your favorite meal is. <laughs> I know my sister is going to have some fufu and some, no, she can't have wine because she just had a baby, but maybe some water will do. So thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Do God bless you and God bless all the graduates. Thank you. So my tacos here. Thank you. That's my. <laughs> All right. Um, who else? Before we move on, we're trying to get anybody that wants to speak. And uh, I think uh, uh, I can I can say one or two. Yeah, uh, Abena will go, and then uh, I think Alan, and then we we'll go through that order. So go ahead, Abena. Thank you so much. So that was my big sister. I, my hand was raised, and I saw her speak. So I could thank you so much. It's such a joy to that you were able to join for California it means that you had to wake up early for me and I'm so grateful yeah, so do, for me I have a lot to say because I'm a fellowship recipient for this program I'm always on cyber chat every Friday so when my name was called out for the scholarship I was more than thrilled and I told myself that I was going to do it Come what may, with grit and determination, I was able to do that. And I'm so grateful. I've learned so, 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 so much. Things that I never knew I could do. Now, at least I'm able to speak to it. I'd also like to say thank you to Isosa and Divine for their leadership. They would walk us through what we had to do, how we had to go about it. And once you got the grind of it, it made things very easy. She mentioned that I was quiet, yes, because most of the time my baby would cry during presentations and I had to figure out how to get her quiet so I could say something. So it's been a wonderful learning experience. I wouldn't trade it for all the tea in uh, China. And I have my notes. Whenever I need to go for them to get something out of it, I know it will be good for me. So I'm grateful to everybody, my team members, everyone. Thank you so much for the support. I'm very grateful. Wait. Go. Yeah, go ahead, Alan. Yes, good morning, Dr. Du and all the graduates. Um, my name is Alan Johnson, Alan Van Johnson. I am the current uh, group leader for the current cohort for ADDI. We started in January. And uh, hearing your inspirational stories of triumph through the trials and tribulations has definitely been encouragement as we are navigating through some of our old trials and tribulations. <laughs> and I'm kind of chuckling and laughing at, but definitely they have been encouraging on today. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, maintaining the high standard that um, our fellow interns of uh, ADDI that graduating on today, we're looking forward to uh, maintaining your level of excellence moving forward with that company. And we just thank you for the um the opportunity to speak and wish you the best and God's blessings on all the opportunities coming your way as members of uh lifelong members now of uh ADDI and our uh, everything. Thank you so much, Dr. Du. Thank you, Ellen. Frank, please go ahead. Yes, hi, thank you, Dr. Du and um my fellow um graduates. Um I just want to thank uh, my teammates. Um, when I had to travel to Ghana for two weeks, um, they held the fort for me. And when I got back, they kept me updated uh, with everything that happened whilst I was away. So I just want to thank them. And, uh, 
this is going to be a long and uh, lifelong uh, connections with all, all of you guys. Uh, thank you. Go ahead. Good luck. Sheila, can I jump in? Yes, uh, please. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to hog the conversation, but I have one story I'd like to share with the entire group. Um, I went to a. I had a project in New York with my daughter, and I flew to New York specifically to meet Doctor Adu face to face. Um, you know, he's a he's a great man on paper, but I want to see how it was face to face. And he was kind enough not only to pick my daughter and I up from the airport and take us around, but he was kind enough to feed me. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, but more than that, as we were sitting in traffic, you if you, you know how sometimes you can see a person and you wonder how they are in real life? As he began to talk, I asked him to stop talking so I could record him because of the wealth of knowledge that he was sharing. And throughout the, the, the traffic and the expressways of New York, he just talked for over an hour nonstop of giving me PCI DSS information. And I didn't disturb him. I just let him talk. And it was one of the greatest conversations I've ever had with an instructor. So I just want to tell that, that I flew to uh, New York to meet him face to face. And he's better in real life than he is on paper. So I just want to share that with you. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, that was supposed to be a secret, Ralph. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks for sharing, Ralph. Thank God to New York traffic. <laughs> Go ahead, Frank. Oh, yeah. yeah, folks, um, it's me again. Um, so I would like to encourage each and every one of you um, to continue networking with each other, either on LinkedIn or um, however you want to do it. You know, build that relationship. That way, if one of you get to land an opportunity somewhere, they can, you know, pull you in somehow. And also, the books and materials that you guys lent, um, you shouldn't put them away. Um, or, um, you know, just so you graduated, it's over. Now, cybersecurity is ever evolving, and you have to, you know, learning, and each and every day there's something new. So I just want to put that out there, and also... Congratulations to all of you. I wish you all the best in your next endeavors. And hopefully we'll meet each other someday as Dr. Edu was trying to put something together for all his um students. Thank you. All right, Shara, over to you. Thank you. Um, I think we'll move on now. I think George uh, just had his own break. So go ahead, George, and then we'll move on. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Edu. I just wanted to um, encourage everybody that graduating from this class is worth it. I mean, investing your time and money in this program is so worth it. And um, just to inspire people, when I did a PCI, we just finished one project and they said we did so well, we are going to extend our contract to the end of the year. Wow. And so they are going to give us even a bigger project to remediate their PCI activities. So I just wanted to say that to inspire you guys. It's so worth it. Thank you. Thank you, George. Uh, I think Daniel, uh, Daniel, please go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say congratulations to everybody on their graduation and also just wanted to give specific congratulations to my mom at Sosa St. Cyr. You know, as I've been sitting through here, I've been hearing everybody, you know, talk and I heard her give her a little introduction to everybody. And I just wanted to come on and say I'm proud of her. You know, help motivate me as I'm also getting going through my cybersecurity journey. So yeah, I just want to come here and say, hey, congratulations mom. You know what I'm saying? Good <laughs> good job on the uh, graduation. Thank you. Great. Thank you, uh, thank you Daniel. Go ahead, Shiloh. Okay, thank you. Oh, somebody else wanted to speak? 
there was a person had her hand up, um, a BB, um, for a long time, and then I think they put your hand down. So I'm not sure they still want to speak or not. Okay. Well, if I could just uh, say one quick um, line about how I got here. Um, just to add to Isosa's son's story, you know, me and Isosa met in a day trading uh, academy, a very vigorous one. And we understood that, you know, 95% of day traders are unsuccessful, but, you know, that didn't intimidate me and Isosa. We wanted to find out how we could be part of the 5% that is that are successful so uh, we took that course and we did well we graduated from it and you know we stayed in touch after we moved on with our lives and one day she told me hey you know um i am looking into a, a cyber security academy and i told her man that is you know so ironic because i was you know looking into a you know salary that could pay us handsomely and we were able to leverage our salaries to execute some day trades uh, so often and so we embarked on this journey together and I want to say thank you to Isosa for you know referring me to Eurythmus Academy after doing my due diligence and looking at the reviews on Eurythmus Academy I was very impressed by how um, everyone's uh, success stories came about so uh, thank you to Isosa for referring me and I appreciate all my classmates right uh, Jackie please go ahead Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Jackie. I'm coming from South Africa. I'm just a guest. I subscribe to Eritmus content from YouTube. Um, I'm a CRM consultant uh, working for an IT company in South Africa, but we also have got some projects in the US. Um, I just started following Eritmus because I wanted a bootcamp that was going to get me into GRC and specialize in PCI DSS. Uh, but hopefully I'll get there. Currently, I'm just doing the IS, IST squared free course that's uh, certified in cyber. That's what I'm, I'm busy with right now at the moment. And uh, I'm pleased to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, go ahead, Cynthia. Yes, um, thank you, Dr. Du. Um, my name is Cynthia JQC. I am an old student of Eritmes, and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you all and wish you all the best in your endeavors as you move out to um, start. I mean, I know, I, know, I believe some of you are already in the industry, but then this goes to those who are now coming in that one thing that you should have is the spirit of endurance, because sometimes it's, it is not as we see it that... Um, as soon as you finish the work, the work is there, all right. But then if you don't have the spirit of endurance, you might think of giving up. It took me almost two years, more than one and a half years for me to learn my job. And it's been good. So that's what I want to tell you. Don't give up. Keep on searching and then reach out to whoever you need to reach out and it will pay off one day. So congratulations. That's all I want to tell you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Uh, go ahead, Kwame. Hello, uh, my name is Kwame. I'm also an old student of uh, arithmetic, and then I'm the first baby for Dr. Du. Everywhere he goes, I follow him. So, But then I wanted to let everybody know that we started with Dr. Du, and then we had no hope. We were just trying to find somewhere to just see if this thing will work. But honestly... If I tell you my title and where I'm working at, the people that I'm working with walk through the effort of Dr. Du. And if you are here, then it's by divine and uh, assistant that you got to this point. So I'm encouraging everybody over here to take this serious. And one of my experience that I want to let everybody know that with all the classes that you have taken and then Dr. Du share it on your Google Drive, right? Pay attention to that. At the point that you are on a job or you are on an assignment, then you need reference. I bet you that is where that this uh, information comes so handy 
that you might not even need to engage anybody. You go back to your drive and then look at the classes, the stream videos, and then take your time and listen to them. And then you feel like you are all you are already in the you are still in the class. Just will solve all your problems. So people don't pay attention to that. They ignore that class. Whatever he has shared, go over there and make sure you know how to get to them when you need it. And definitely, you will be it will be handed to you when the time comes. Thank you. Thank you, Kwame. Uh, thank you, Shabak. I'm take it from here. Thank you. All right. Um, we will continue. Okay, so we will take a message from Arithmetics Academy. Um, the man of the hour. Yeah, uh, thank you, Shila. So I'm uh, about to catch you uh, in there. So uh, what I want to say is everybody should take note of this, right? The top of one mountain is uh, the bottom of another mountain. So you are done with the internship. You did a lot. You've covered a lot. You know a lot. You've grown so far from where you started, right? You are at the top of a mountain. But that is the bottom of another mountain. So the point I'm trying to make is, uh, uh, Frank also spoke to this, don't stop learning, right? Now you are not under pressure to complete a project within the crazy time that we give you for the internship. So you can take your time and go back to the uh, lessons that we went through, revisit the projects, right? Uh, try to take a second look at it because you have a better understanding of it now, right? And like Kwame was also uh, speaking to, on the job, you can always go back and reference, you know, whatever uh, you have in terms of material, right? So if you revisit everything now, you know where to look for what when the time comes, right? And I appreciate everybody's effort and how far you've grown, right? When you started day one, day two, people were scratching their heads like, what the heck is this, right? Why are we not being told exactly what to do about this? Or why are we not being told exactly what to do about that? It is part of the training. Right, you've been put into groups for a reason. So you could have done this on an individual basis, but what was the benefit? Right, uh, you are coming as an individual. We want you to go back as families, as groups. Right, uh, have a bond. So like Aaron and uh, Aaron was talking about how he met uh, Isosa in a different training, and they have that bond up to today. Right, that is what we try to build in Eritus. Right, so we can all network. Uh, we have uh, students who are, you know, uh, coming to the state of other students. They are meeting in person. Now they are family friends. So there is a lot for us to gain from, you know, togetherness rather than trying to, you know, do ourselves uh, individually. Right, and uh, like what I was talking about, we are we, we we are going to have a live event this year where we try to bring everybody uh, around the globe, and we are all going to, you know, uh, see each other face to face and. Subsequent years, we are going to have such events as well. So I appreciate everybody's effort and time that they put into this. The timelines that you are given during the internship to complete projects, they are unrealistic. So doing an assessment for a company is going to take you more than three months. But because everybody on the air is a superhero, you do it within two weeks, right? We even make it a weekend, you know, graciously give you another week and you're all running around like chickens with your hair cut off and why this, and, and you are stressing yourself uh, because it's all part of the training, right? If you're able to do that uh, as a group, a very small group, uh, adapt uh, as uh, for, you know, like which, uh, uh, however we we uh, group you, if you are still able to pull that off, then it means you can work in any uh, stressful environment, right? So I appreciate all the late nights, uh, all the headaches, you know, babies crying and still working through this. Uh, mostly when, you know, we have internships like this, uh, I just, I'm always amazed, right, at how we started and how everybody has grown to this point. And if you talk about, you know, something that money cannot buy is this, right? For me, this is uh, my pay. Like, this is my payday. Seeing everybody grow so much, seeing how much you, you know, uh, got from this program and how much is going to help you for the rest of your life. Uh, that is my joy, right? Uh, money cannot, you cannot pay me enough. So uh, I appreciate everybody's 
effort and time that they put into this. I appreciate family members, Daniel and uh, Abina and everybody showing up to help, to uh, encourage our interns, Cynthia, Kwame, you know, Frank, and everybody else who's gone through the program, current interns who are uh, coming in to support uh, their seniors. I cannot thank you enough, right? I appreciate everybody's effort. And like Cynthia uh, talked about, so persistence. Now, uh, let's do some analysis and be real and realistic. Like, I always want to be real. Everybody who talks to me, I'm real, right? Now, I don't sugarcoat or try to go around or give you something else than it is. Uh, so Cynthia was talking about it took her almost two years to get her job, right? Cynthia was one of, she doesn't even know, but she was uh, on my list of uh, people that I wanted to push off that list. She was on my bucket list. It was Cynthia, Frank, and some other people because I couldn't wrap my head around why they couldn't get jobs. Cynthia was one of the best students, during, like one of the best interns during her time. Very smart lady, very knowledgeable. But when it comes to interviews and the rest, we worked on a, like a couple of interviews and others. I couldn't wrap up my head around why she didn't get a job within the shortest possible time. But everything is timing, right? Everything, you know, you have to let nature take its course. Maybe that wasn't the right time for her to get a job. Or I don't know how nature works and all that. But she had everything that it took to get a job within, you know, that quick. But she had ups and downs. Sometimes she almost wanted to give up. She didn't. Uh, and to say, like, Cynthia's almost two and a half years, uh, almost two years. For Frank, who was a guest speaker, it took him almost two years. Uh, two years, I mean, it took him a bit longer than Cynthia. Right. But finally, it paid off. And the reason why I'm saying let's be realistic is this. If you went to nursing school for two years, four years, the money you're going to spend, what you're going to go through, you are not allowed to fail even one course. When you finish nursing school, after the two years or four years, what is the salary range? Right. Now, if you took this course, six, year, six months, seven months, it took you two years, like after that, it takes you another a year and a half to land a job. Whether you do something about the year and a half, you you like you keep learning, you keep persisting, you keep pushing, the year and a half is going to pass by. It is going to, you know, it, by the grace of God, if you're still living, the two years is going to come, whether you like it or not. Now, for somebody who gave up after two months of trying, and went back to what they are comfortable with and what they are doing that they hate or that they don't love. And Cynthia kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. After the two years, Cynthia and that person who has something to show, right? And how is your life going to change after that two years? You are still going to be in the same spot, you know, hating what you are doing. And, you know, talking about this cyber security thing is not even worth it or, you know, it is not... True, you cannot even get a job within that space. Now, and also speaking to that, there was a student who started with Frank in 2020. Yeah, 2020. He was called Clement. A very brilliant, 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 brilliant student. Brilliant. When they were done with the training, it was, yes, I think Noah was right be, be, like behind them. When they were done with the training, somebody convinced Clement that if you are Black, you are never going to get a cyber security job. So he was preparing to write security plus. He just slowly dropped off. And me personally, I take like I take personal interest in everybody's progress. So I was wondering, you know, there are some people who make that mark on you and you can't forget about them, right? One was Cynthia. I couldn't figure out why is she not working? I mean, she will talk to people and they are like, Yeah, so we are working in the industry, right? Even during the internship, people working in the industry thought she was <laughs> Because she was so brilliant, right? But this guy, you know, similar guy, he's very young, I think in her, like 2021. 20, and he reached out to me. He wanted to write security plus. And I'm like, okay, we gave him all the material and everything. And then all of a sudden, he just went missing, right? You call his phone, he's not picking up. I mean, I'm calling you to figure, hey, what is going on? He's not picking up. You test him, nothing. And I was concerned. I'm like, you know, this was a very promising young man. And then later, so I made Frank, Frank knew him, you know, through one acquaintance. So Frank reached out 
and the response that he got, you know, uh, that I got through Frank was that his uncle or somebody told him he wouldn't get a cybersecurity job if he is black. So he forgot everything and just dumped it in the trash. Now, fast forward two years later, it took Frank, who was in the same class with him two years, to land a job. Frank has a job, a very high paying job. He's happy, work-life balance, awesome. Clement is still working in a warehouse. Such a promising young man. It's not like working in a warehouse is bad or anything. But he, the point I'm trying to make is, because he quit, he can't get what Frank has now. Frank didn't quit. Frank was also working in a warehouse of some sort. He didn't quit. He kept pushing. Eventually, it paid off, right? Because the payday is bigger than the wait time. I can tell you that for a fact. And I have so many stories on that, right? We have students who waited for almost a year plus, landed jobs, 150, landed jobs, 220. And the list, I mean, we have the whole catalog of students like that. The point I'm trying to make is some people's day is going to come early, others not so early, right? So if you're applying, you are applying, doing interviews, uh, and you're not getting the response you are looking for, reach out. And then also for everybody on here, if you're applying for jobs and I don't know about it or anybody in the team don't know about it, you are so wrong, <laughs> right? So don't reach out to me like five months later. I, I, I can't get an, like any interviews. And so wh when did you start applying for a job? When did you even have an interview? Like when did you get an interview? And nobody knows about it. Then, you know, you are not, you have the resources available to you. You are just not using it. And if you are using everything, you know, you are working on your resume, tweaking it, doing everything you get in and it's still not going through like you want, don't give up. Because the most important part of, what you need is persistence. Everybody on here is a full-blown cybersecurity professional. I can tell you that for a fact. You can work on, like in any cybersecurity space, in almost all roles. When you are given the opportunity, you can do it. Now getting that, so from where you are to getting that opportunity, what you need is persistence. You don't have to give up, right? You don't have to give up. Somebody goes to medical school for eight, nine years. What is their starting salary? Right. So really, if you wait for two years, if you wait for, you know, and it's not two years that you just go to sleep on yourself because where you are right now is a language that you, you like you have learned to become fluent in. If you stop speaking that language, it is gradually going to go away. Right. It's like going to the gym being on like in top shape, you know, uh, and if you stop going to the gym for a year, everything is going to, you know, go back to normal or even worse. So where you are, you are at the top of a mountain, which is the bottom of another mountain. So your goal is to look at the, the next mountain that you are at the bottom of to start climbing, right? So I hope this helps everybody and we have, you know, uh, an inspirational story like Frank and Kwame and the rest uh, on here, right? Kwame and Sheila, they are couples. They started together. Sheila got a job. Uh, first interview, first job. It took Kwame a couple of tries. It took Kwame, I think, almost like five, six, seven months down the line before Kwame got a job. So if you don't get a job in two months after today, or in three months after today, the most important thing is you have to keep moving, keep moving, keep getting better. You know, attend cyber chats, attend different programs, learn, study, get different books, shoot for different certifications, get better and better and better because the opportunity is eventually going to come. Now, when the opportunity comes, you have to make sure you are ready, right? You don't want the opportunity to come and you are like, yeah, you know, if this came like, Five months ago, when I was really done with the internship and I was on top of my game, now I'm rust. It doesn't work that way. So please uh, make sure you are not going to sleep on everything that we've done. You are on top of the mountain. Yes, you have to celebrate. But after that little celebration, make sure you are eyeing for the next mountain, right? The top of the next mountain, because this mountain is 
you are really high, but it's at the bottom of another mountain that you have to look into climbing, right? So, and our doors are always open. You are all part of the Richmond family, like Shiba said, said, whether you like it or not, you are part of the family. Uh, we are going to reach out to you uh, if we need you as a resource. And also for everybody on here, be on the lookout. Now you are going to be mentors for next internship that is going to come on. Even for the current internship, we are going to draw some of you and uh, you are going to assist them and guide them through, you know, uh, projects that they are working on as well. So you have to bring on your A game. You are now seniors. You know, it's like for our sisters on here, you know, uh, if you think you are still a baby because you are the last born of your family, when you have a kid, now you are not a baby anymore. <laughs> you have to start, you know, taking care of other babies. And so that is how you should see yourself, right? If coming into it, you thought you were a baby in cybersecurity, now you're not a baby anymore. Uh, you've all given birth to other babies that we are going to force you to take care of. Right? So you have to know your stuff and know it well. And I know everybody on here knows their stuff and know it well, you know, if you went through the program all the way to the end. So please reach out. Uh, do not hesitate. You can always go to our website, make an appointment, talk to me. Right, There are a couple of folks on here who, you know, constantly on a daily basis, uh, not to mention anybody, not to mention anybody's name, but uh, somebody code name, uh, Isosa and Ralph. <laughs> always on my phone, right? And I love that, right? And they are the ones who are always going to benefit because they are always reaching out if something, you know, they need clarifications on things or they just want to talk about cyber security and other stuff, right? So please do reach out. Uh, sometimes I'm hard to get, but, you know, I'll eventually cycle back and get to you. I'll talk to everybody and anybody. So for everybody who is on here, you know, you have a pass, uh, kind of a VIP pass than, you know, uh, folks who've not gone through the internship, right? So please take advantage of that. Uh, make appointments. Let's talk about the way forward, job applications and all that. We are open. Uh, you can also reach out to, you know, all our other resources on the platform. Uh, they will help you. You know, they have the same spirit, the same mindset. We want you to succeed. We want you to be successful. And we really mean that from the bottom of our hearts. So I appreciate everybody's help, right, in making this a very successful program and the effort that you put into this. And I can promise you it is going to pay off a hundredfold. And on the job, you are all going to be rock stars, right? Uh, on the job, you are all good. Be like people on the job, you go, you, like you start working and people start asking you questions and you'll be looking behind you if there's somebody else there, right? People who've been in the industry for years, now they are picking your brain on things. You'll be teaching them things that you are thinking they should know, that they don't know. And you are going to be the ones, you know, instructing and guiding them through projects, right? So I uh, appreciate everybody's effort. I'm going to end here and hand it back to Sheila and we will be uh, in the process of wrapping it. So go ahead, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you. All that I can say to add to what he said is everything that he has said is true. He's a man of his word. So that's all. Thank you. All right. So um, to end up, I will first thank I... Sheila. Yes, Grace. I'm sorry. Um, I I needed to say this, but I didn't. I thought I just want to appreciate you because um, anytime Sheila comes to my house. To be encouraging me, are you learning? Are you doing this? I'm like Sheila. You know, I'm very busy. I can't do this. I don't think I can do this. But she keep she kept pushing me and pushing and pushing. And I just want to say thank you. If not for you, I would have given up, honestly. And you know, <laughs> so thank you so much. I You're love welcome. you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you too. Thank you so much. And we are not done. Like Grace said. Um, just to add up to everything and wrapping up, I uh, think everything Dr. Edu said, this is just the beginning. You are the mount you're on another mountain, which is below the next one. So this is just the beginning. You need to be intense in your process of finding a job. That is the only way we will only we'll be able to celebrate completely and say, oh, you have finally achieved your goal. So this is just the beginning of it. So please keep moving on high. To wrap it all up, uh, we'll first give thanks to God Most High, everything, or oh, the higher power that 
each and every one of us believe in for giving us the strength and the courage to be able to pursue this and to be able to meet together like this and um, to celebrate. We are very grateful. Uh, next, we want to thank our sponsors, Arithmics Inc., Arithmics Academy. We will thank um, ADDI and Diaspora Care for allowing us to uh, learn, um, use them to learn. These are real organizations and um, we thank them so much. We're very grateful. Uh, the man of the hour, Dr. Emmanuel Ledoux. I personally call him a cybersecurity god because for the things he's able to accomplish, Words cannot describe it. And as you guys have joined the family, you will get to know more. Some of you have seen it. And if you continue to stick to it, you are going to um, succeed. So we want to thank you. Now you have gotten more children. As we have said, he's a young man, but you have many, many children. We are very grateful to you for being a resource to the community. Uh, the cybersecurity, uh, failed. We didn't know much, but through you, uh, you have brought a lot of people into it and you have changed lives. Our lives have changed forever and we cannot thank you enough. We are so grateful to you for everything that you continue to do. So thank you so much. Next, we want to thank our interns. This is a hard job. This is a hard process that you have been able to complete. You need to sit back, take a breath, and be grateful and uh, be proud, I mean. Be proud of yourself for accomplishing this because this is not easy at all. So um, we thank you for seeing yourself through this and being able to complete this. We want to thank our family and friends. This is a process that uh, even though a person will make the decision to want to do this, some are mothers, some are um, wives, some are fathers, some are children. You do have outside responsibilities that you need to um, stand up to. And for your family to understand you and to allow you to be able to go through this, um, we thank them. We are very grateful for family and friends and everybody that was able to hop onto the line to join us today. We want to thank everybody. We are grateful. Thank you so much uh, for today. Yeah, Shalana, I think Divine uh, had a question. So Divine uh, mm -hmm. will ask this question and say the closing prayer for us to finish up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that was not part of the terms of engagement. <laughs> well, now you've nominated <laughs> yourself, so. <laughs> so, um, I'm a big advocate of going higher and higher. And I want to ask this question to Dr. Edu, just to give us, to tell us in point form, just brief point form. Um, this, the Security Plus, which we have just concluded with the internship, I think is just the foundation. So for those of us who want to go higher and higher, especially in the GRC, GRC space because uh, cyber security itself is really, really big. So mm -hmm. in the GRC space where the focus is, for those who want to go higher and higher in terms of training, what are the various routes that are available? Can you just give this in point form without, uh, um, I, I don't want to take a lot of time from the class, but for those who will be interested, like myself and um, I think a host of others, who want to go, learn more and more. I don't want to end all at six figures. I want to, go, the next target now is how to get to half a million. So exactly. what are the, what are the routes that are available apart from um, those that we have, we have seen already? Thank you. Okay. So uh, I'll start with your last, uh, like the last portion of your question, which is to earn more than six figures, like early six figures. So within the, the security space, uh, if you want to earn more, that it moves like if you want to earn more than the 150s, uh, getting into the early 200s, uh, you have to be eyeing for the managerial roles, right? Leadership roles. And that necessarily is not uh, very technical, but you have to have a very good understanding of security and how it works. Everybody on here, 
has enough technical knowledge to land any of the 200 plus jobs, right? And that is going to just focus on your leadership and your managerial skills and how you position yourself as a professional, right? If it comes to technical skills, you have way more than you need to, you know, work as a CISO, to work as a, a security manager and all that. So in terms of earning power, uh, you are the only person who will sell yourself short. What you do for 120, 130, you can do less and get paid more. Depends on how you leverage yourself, right? So do you, like, what do you really think the CISO who is making 700,000 a year, like, like what is he doing that you cannot do? In everything technical, he's not doing anything, right? But in terms of management and leadership, uh, he has shown or, you know, he has made whoever is employing him to know he can run it, right? Uh, you can be the worst leader. Just, you, you just don't have to say anything. Just let the system work, <laughs> right? You get there, people are there working already. Don't be the one who is in everybody's business. Let it flow. <laughs> and you're just going to take your paycheck and go. Right. But if you're a moron, then you want to get into everybody's stuff. And now everybody, like everything becomes kaput. I saw so too many of such leaders in the army. <laughs> right. Because every organization is, I mean, what before you got there, it was functioning. So if you pretend you are not there, it's still going to function. You only have to be a moron to, you know, make it kaput, put some rocks in it. And then now the engine is not moving anymore. Right. But, uh, and if you're a good leader, you look at how it is functioning and then you are going to make little changes, you know, little changes, little changes and it becomes even better and better and better. So if you have to go to the 200 and the 500 and the 700, uh, the question is who is more qualified to be the president of the United States? The president. Who knows the answer to that? The answer is the most arrogant person who thinks He's qualified to lead everybody. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like what well, the point I'm trying to make is the person who is more confident and thinks, okay, I, I can lead everybody. You know, all, all these people, I think I'm the best person to lead. It. That is the person who will lead them. Right. You know that, I mean, you know, what is the qualification to be a president? There's really none. Right. If you had like a checklist, you have to do this. Uh, Trump just showed everybody. I'm going to do my own thing and still become president in your face. <laughs> right. So there is really no checklist of, you know, uh, things that you have to do exactly. Uh, so for the earning power, uh, what you know right now in terms of technical skills, of course, you can earn more than uh, 200 plus and, you know, up. So, but in terms of career progression, right, if you want to develop yourself, uh, professionally in the GRC space. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say for wh where you are right now, uh, you are in a very good space. Uh, what you can do is you can start looking into specializing in, you know, we have GRC. So governance, risks, compliance. Now you have to start uh, IN1. So either mm -hmm. governance, you know, what in governance can you measure in? What in risk can you measure in, right? So now you have to look into specialties. So specializing in like a compliance area uh, that you're going to be the subject matter expert of, right? Because you have a very good base. So now you can look into specializing in, you know, uh, specific niches within GRC, right? In terms of certifications, uh, Security Plus, yeah, you are starting off. Uh, what you, we did, you can also just add a little bit to it and be able to pass Security Analyst as well, which Security Analyst is kind of an intermediate certification for CompTIA, right? Uh, now for CISA and SIM, uh, all of that, you can also I sit for and pass. But you know, my principle is not just to pass the certification. Everybody on here can pass the certification with some practice test. Uh, so don't be too happy if you know in deep, deep down in your heart, you just memorize them test questions and you passed. Don't go about telling everybody you have CISA because you don't have the knowledge and skill to back it up. But for everybody on here, you already have the knowledge and skill to back up CISA, even if you don't have it, because you've done audits, you've done gap analysis, uh, you've done baseline. And so you have all of it. Now you just have to, for the exams purposes, you just have to learn 
you know, some of the things that they are exactly looking for in how they are looking for it and how they set their questions, you know, that way that as part of your preparation. So CISA, SIM, uh, all from ISACA for uh ISC squared, CISSP, right? It's also one of the or like one of the certifications that you can I, right? And and the goal is to actually go through the process of gradually learning, you know, uh, you know, gathering the knowledge and skill that you need to be able to scale these exams, right? So that is for certifications. You can go through that route, uh, get some of these certifications under your belt. But in terms of really earning power or developing yourself, you can look into, you know, branching off into one of these areas, right? If you go with RICS, it doesn't mean you cannot cycle around and also go major uh, in something else in governance, right? So hopefully that helps divine. Uh, in terms of like very specifics, it, we will, we can talk offline and see what exactly you are looking for. For Divine, you are in PCI, so you're already on that path already, right? Uh, you are mastering an area in governance, which is going to set you apart from everybody else. And you have to learn and learn it well and become the subject matter expert. Uh, we have students who are in organizations and they are the PCI gods over there. You have like VP... Uh, VPs and like directors of different aspects, it, like it's a very big global company. They are all reaching out to him. Uh, like Frank, for instance, is working on, in an oil and gas company, right? And I think Frank, they, they, are, they are paying Frank less than what he's doing, right? Uh, he's really underpaid, although he's making six figures and in the, you know, upper six figures. But I think for what he's doing, they should probably be paying him 300 and plus. But, uh, and he's the PCI go-to over there. His manager, and I mean, Frank is a programs manager, but he also has somebody, I think VP or somebody uh, like on top of him. Uh, they have no clue what is going on in PC. Right? He is the go-to. So if you merger in areas like that, you are going to be the go-to. Nobody can really mess with you in the organization. You are the god of what you do, right? If they want to mess with you, okay, fine. You take your suitcase. The next day you are, you know, uh, at a different company earning more. And they are going to be the ones suffering, right? But when Frank got to his company, they were already bleeding in PCI. Their assessment was overdue. They didn't know what heck they were doing. And he's saving them a lot now, right? Which most GCI students are doing for their companies now. So in terms of career development, like for everybody on here, I am one of the you know letters in grc uh is going to be the your next step right and then for certifications don't don't really look at okay i just want to focus on certifications that are predominantly just grc right because under grc you have to know everything you have to have a good working knowledge of everything right uh rigs governance compliance covers everything in cyber screen and i mean everything you like you 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 can't function if you don't understand or have a good working knowledge of networking, cryptography, identity and access management. So you have to be able to you know have a good working knowledge. So when you are taking these certifications, you are learning, right? So no certifications off the table, but in terms of you know like progress, uh, you can go CISA, SIM, you know uh, CISSP, right? Uh, and even for CompTIA, you can go uh, Security Plus, Security Analyst. And if you want, you can even stretch yourself a bit, you know, and go for pen test, right? Uh, although that is a little bit, you know, off, but the goal is to like to gather as much knowledge as possible, to have that exposure, even if that is not the space you want to actually work in. That way you can sit on different meetings and you understand what is going on. Ask questions that people who are supposedly to are supposed to be subject matter expert in that space. Ask them questions that will let them think. And now they are looking at you like, who is this guy, <laughs> right? And even though you are not like a specialist in whatever they are doing, but you'll be able to, you know, uh, because you understand really well what is going on and you have that that you've had that exposure, uh, you'll be able to do that, right? So I encourage everybody, professional development. Uh, don't let it end here. Uh, go another step. And for us, we are looking at doing some, uh, like a higher level, maybe more so managerial leadership. You know that can get you the two hundreds, 
we are coming up with something like that, right? So that can get you like, okay, this is like kind of CISO kind of training, you know, VP kind of training. That is still focusing on, so focusing more on leadership and managerial aspect of security as well, right? And for everybody on here, whether you are a group leader team, you know, uh, you are being taught some level of leadership and team playing skills, whether you you knew it or you were able to get the science behind what we're doing really well or not. Because working in a virtual environment as a team is more difficult than working uh, in person as a team, right? Way, way more difficult. But you're able to pull it off. So I don't know what you cannot do on here. Uh, and this is not just to make you feel you are uh, cyber superheroes, but you are, right? There is nothing that you cannot, like you cannot do Unless, of course, you don't think you are the most arrogant person who can be the president of the United States, which everybody should be thinking that way. You can be the president, I can be the president. It's just a matter of who is more confident to say, okay, I'm going to put myself out there for people to uh, insult me and say all sort of stuff against me, but I don't care. I'm still going to be president. Right. So hopefully that helps, Divine. Thank you very much. That helps a lot. All right, Sheila, we can wrap it up. That's it. Uh, Divine, you didn't do the prayers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Divine is going to wrap it up for us. So. We are not letting you off the hook. Okay. <laughs> so thank you uh, for the opportunity. I'm going to say uh, a universal prayer, which cuts across every all of us, Christian, mm -hmm. Muslim, Jewish, even uh, those who believe in the universe. We're all subscribed to the same God, the, the senior prefect of the universe. So... Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for today. Thank you for everything that we have achieved today. We beg you to bless and protect us in everything that we're going to do. We beg you to send your spirits to guide us, to give us the wisdom to learn more and more, to achieve all that we intend to achieve with this particular program. And for what we're going to do today, Give us the grace that others may be able to touch you through us. Amen. That was good. <laughs> All right. So we will end it here. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, go out and do great things. Interns, um, be interns in your job hunt. And make sure that you circle back to us, Arithmetics Dr. Do, um, for help. You're not you, you're still in the family. You're not alone. So mm -hmm. make sure you always reach back. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thank you. And uh, after divine, I also bless you off. You are a full fledged service pretty professionals now, who can earn upwards of two hundred k and beyond, right? Uh, depending on how much you really want to earn. Uh, so uh, I appreciate everybody's time. We are going to meet during the week for uh, other training sessions and cyber chats that we have going on. So uh, please do reach out uh, if you need help, if you need assistance with anything. Have yeah, a thank weekend. you, Dr. Edu. All right, everyone. Have a thank you, Dr. Edu. Thank you, Dr. Edu. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Congrats, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.